um, we now want to shift our focus and pick up another idea which has become so important in the struggle, in the present struggle. Uh, we entitle the next series, Azadi, The Many Meanings of Freedom. Uh, uh, freedom, as you know, is a cherished idea. Uh, it's uh, a rich idea with many, many layers of meanings. Uh, philosophers have reflected on the idea, um, movements have been inspired by the idea, uh, constitutions have enshrined this idea, and social groups have dreamt of freedom in very many different ways. Um, the second series of lectures will pose a series of questions which explores and unpacks this idea at different levels. Um, it will ask, and there are a few questions that we pose which we hope will be addressed through these lectures. It will ask, what is the idea of freedom enshrined in the Constitution? Uh, how, has this, how, are these, how has this idea evolved? Um, th what were the debates through which this idea evolved? Uh, how does the constitutional idea differ in different countries? It's not the same. What the idea of freedom in India may not be the same as it is enshrined in the constitution of other countries. So let's explore and unpack that idea with the constitutional idea of freedom as enshrined in India, maybe South Africa, maybe other Latin American countries, maybe Europe, and see how it has evolved over time. Um, how is the idea of freedom been, has, how has it evolved through philosophical discourses of modernity? We know that the idea of freedom possibly was not there before the time, before modernity itself. Now, how has this idea evolved? How have philosophers reflected on it? How have the how have the idea how has the idea mutated over time? We'll uh, think of those and reflect on those. Uh, how has the idea been? Um, thought about by thinkers in non-Western countries, in India, again in Latin America, in South Africa, and maybe other countries. Uh, how has the idea been re-signified in social movements and through social movements? How new ideas of freedom emerge within social movements and inscribe themselves, those ideas become part of the new idea of freedom as it evolves over time. Uh, what has the idea of freedom meant for women, for Dalits? And what happens to the category if we gender the term of uh, gender, the idea of freedom itself? Um, what has freedom and unfreedom meant for the practices of science? Uh, what happens when the freedom to think of new ideas is constrained by the tyranny of hegemonic uh, paradigms? Uh, I'm thinking of Galileo and many others who have suffered through life because the idea to think of a new idea itself was not possible. Uh, the, the permissibility of thought is something which we need to think about. How does substantive economic and social freedom differ from the constitutional idea of freedom? We cannot only talk of the constitution, the constitution is extremely important, but we have to think beyond the constitution to see what are those substantive forms in which the idea of freedom articulate themselves within, articulates itself within society itself. What does freedom mean to artists, to performers, to writers, to poets? to practitioners of culture in general? What is unfreedom meant to them? How does one define the limits of freedom itself? So uh, we wish to explore freedom not only as a constitutional idea, as law, but also as experience, dream, and desire. Um, we'll begin the series of talks from Monday with Partha Chatterjee talking to us, uh, whether it will be whether it will be at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, we do not know as yet because uh, there was a suggestion that we sh actually postpone the timing or the lecture to 6 because it's becoming uh, hot these days. But we'll decide on that and there should be a poster which goes around so that you know the whole series as it uh, unfolds. But next week there will be three holidays so we will have a lecture on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We will not have it. Subsequent we'll, uh, week we'll again take over the series and continue through the week. Uh, so hopefully there will be 15, 20 lectures on the idea of freedom. Please tell everyone to come for it so that we have again packed uh, Freedom Square, as we have seen it earlier on. Thank you.